Zimbabwe suffered a shock 2-0 defeat uh, to host Nigeria in their opening uh, Davis Cup uh, tie at the ongoing Africa Group 3 tournament in Abuja yesterday. Uh, the Locke brothers, uh, Benjamin and Courtney Locke, both losing their singles matches, uh, going down 2-1 uh, respectively, and a b disappointing start in Zimbabwe's bid uh, to regain promotion uh, to World Group 2. So action continues today. Uh, Zimbabwe facing Cote d'Ivoire, the top Three teams out of the six uh, that are in Nigeria uh, will be promoted back to Group 2. Remember, earlier in the year, Zimbabwe losing uh, the World Group 2 playoff to Hong Kong. And we came into this particular Africa Group 3 tournament as the highest ranked nation. Uh, so a bit of a shock there to go down uh, to Nigeria. Uh, we did highlight this in the first hour, Chief, uh, that you know we're sort of rebuilding. But I was actually looking at the stats. You know, for example... Uh, uh, Byron Black only played 15 Davis Cup matches, but the Lock Brothers have played about 37, 37 each. Wow. So, like, <laughs> more matches, but not necessarily, but I think yeah. the, the, they are still going up. No, I think by the time the, Bla the Black Brothers were playing tennis, mm -hmm. I think they had already reached the, the peak the, of their the career. Peak of so. their careers. And, and the, you know, if we look at the 15 games, mm. uh, he won at least 10 of those yeah. matches. And, and was, yeah, I mean, that was the, the peak for... The, the record is yeah. absolutely outstanding. 80% retention rate, uh, if you want to look at it that way. That, these are youngsters, man. They're, they're, as far as I'm concerned, they may have game time, but quality game time is what mm. matters also. Remember, these guys were also ranked uh, highly also yeah. in the world rankings there uh, mm. in the PGA. All right, uh, so moving on uh, to some uh, football, and the Highlanders have bolstered uh, their attacking options with the club confirming uh, the signing of uh, Neva Raouji on a loan deal until the end of the season. So Raouji was one of the most prolific uh, forwards in the Castle Aga Premier Soccer League in the first half of the season, uh, getting uh, six goals uh, for Bulawayo Chiefs, and he joins a Borsal strike force uh, that's already boasting the likes of Lino Chukwa, who scored seven goals. He's just one shy of the top goal scorer, uh, William Anondo. Brighton, Nube. Um, and Ninja, they're also contributing with five uh, goals. Uh, but Raouj will miss uh, Boso's next game, which is against uh, Raouj's parent club, Blauer Chiefs, as a Blauer Derby on Sunday. Highlanders, uh, Blauer Chiefs. So, but uh, for Boso, Boso right now, fifth on the log, nine points off the top. You look at last season, they tried to get Obril in the middle of the season. They failed their, their campaign sort of <laughs> nosedived yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah. But, you know, they're already having Lino Chico scoring seven goals. Brighton and Nube, uh, five, you bring in a player like Raouji, surely they'll be fancying their chances to close the gap between themselves and the top teams. I think they will be. Uh, very interestingly, also, you know, coming off that uh, very big uh, Zimbabwe derby win, I think it's something that they need to build on uh, if they are to entertain any chances uh, of, uh, you know, closing in that gap. But this coming uh, encounter that they have is going to be a tricky one. It's a derby. It always has its own issues. Uh, uh, Dubbies have got their own little intricacies <laughs> as well. Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Pazetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.